What do you know about that moped? Let's it was it. sitting on the side of the road with a free sign. Is it safe to admit that's an unusual occurrence? We were trying to patrol an area where we know there's a lot of narcotics activity, try and curb the problem. We were driving, we saw a gentleman on a moped. We saw that this one was unregistered, had no plates. We conducted a traffic stop on the vehicle and immediately I could see that he was nervous. We patted him down because he was nervous, conducted a, a Terry pat on him. I felt a pill bottle and then he had a little improvised smoking device. And that's not mine because I don't be fair. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, I've never had a tutor on my personal property. Somebody that... Because I'm not... Is there anything else to be honest about? You no, know, my girlfriend honestly had this guy that she needed to somewhere to stay. So I let him stay at my house for a night. And then he left that on the floor. I picked it up. So why not leave it on the floor? Because I... Or dispose of it. That's what I was going to do. The more we talked, the more he admitted that his excuses, whether they were legit in his in his own mind or actually legit at all, um, that, that they didn't seem reasonable. I know it sounds... Those are your pants. I know. Right? Yeah. This was your phone. This was your dollar bill. I should have thrown it away. Everything already. on you or in that pocket was yours except one item? All right. Yeah, I know it sounds like crap, but... I mean, you know, just think about it. He had talked about the moped. He had originally said it was given to him and the more pressure you know that, that we had during the conversation uh, that he said that it was free that he saw it on the side of the road with a tag on the side of it that said free if it sounds too good to be true it probably is how often do you see Put your hands right here. a motorized vehicle on the side of the road with a free sign on it well it wouldn't run so that's why i figured that i got it running because is it safe to admit that's an unusual occurrence yeah, but that's why I ran the bin and stuff online. But it all came back the same. All right. Any prior criminal history, anything like that that we yeah, should know about? Yeah, I've been arrested before. Where have you been? What am I going to find? Um, I'm on probation. For what? Drug For, use? Yeah. Tim pulled the VIN off. I ran it through our, uh, our wanted vehicle system. And sure enough, it came back stolen. He had that reality check with us, got a little emotional. He admitted to being a meth user. Some people are receptive when they get caught and they own it. When you do have somebody like that, you, you know, if you feel like you can make some kind of change within the bad situation and maybe make this a positive experience out of the bad for them, we're those kind of cops. We're, we want to create some positive change from, from the arrests that we make. You have your whole life ahead of you. You seem like a really decent guy. I deal with really bad people every day. You're just making crummy decisions because you're hooked on sauce, man. You're hooked on pills but and I you're hooked on... I was honest with you about this. I'm sorry. I don't... I if I thought you were a liar, you would already be... I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you. I don't have time to waste my breath on people that don't want to hear it. I'm saying this because I care about you. I'm sick of seeing this drug take over people's lives. With the paraphernalia, you know, um, I didn't feel it was necessary to stack all these charges on this guy that were drug related when he was already on probation and we as far as him being in possession of the stolen property he has to be held accountable for that but as far as bringing the whole paraphernalia and drug aspect into it you know because he was receptive and cooperative with us you know we cut him as much slack as we could as officers.